Are our schools safe? That's a question parents all over the nation have been asking and one that was discussed tonight at Dade County High School. This after three students were arrested for making threats and taking a weapon to school. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell joins us now with more. Tanisha. Well, Greg, there were at least 50 parents, teachers, students at this meeting as school administrators and local law enforcement explained the recent dangers at the high school. Many parents are wondering what will be done to prevent it from happening again. We're all serious about it, like our kids' safety come first. Dolly Harris and Cheryl Hodge are just a few parents who were among Monday night's crowd, brainstorming ways to keep their children and other students safe. And I feel like um, Dade County staff and representatives of the county have done a great job so far, but you can't always prevent things from happening. The last few issues that have happened here, they were the students. It wasn't like anybody from outside out that didn't live in this county or it wasn't like a, an adult. Several kind of security thing. topics the were discussed. Is, Officials focused on the nearly 300 security cameras all Dade County schools share. Sheriff Ray Cross hopes to address the need for more school resource officers with more funding. My job as, as sheriff is to keep your, your children and your grandchildren safe, and I won't do that to the fullest extent. Metal detectors were another topic, but police chief Christy Smith listed several reasons why they may not be a good idea. Keys go off, change goes off, belt buckles go off, the buckles on your shoes. I mean, it's just not, it's just not feasible. Many agree more needs to be done, but not without the community's help. It comes back on us parents. It starts at home and it finishes at home. And that's, I'm a firm believer in that. We are a small community and Everybody needs to be more involved. People can talk all day long, post things all day long on social media, but when it comes down to it, nobody really wants to help except for the school staff, and they can only do so much. The school officials say they're relying on students, teachers, and parents to report any threats or suspicious behavior. Live in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Tanisha, thank you. The